Terra Luna Classic holding on to some awesome gains so far today. Guys, we're up over 50% right now, trading around 30,000 points per coin. Things are looking great for Terra Luna Classic, and people are beginning to wonder, is it going to sustain these levels? It's gone up before and then gone back down a little bit. Are we going to see it continue to move up, or will we see it fall back down a little bit? And I want to talk about that in this video, because we've got some very specific reasons <clears throat> as to why Terra Luna Classic is moving higher. And, and we could have some very specific reasons as to why it would move lower as well, and I believe they deserve to be discussed. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay, I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro, we're here every single day. And we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks. $1 crypto trade, you're getting $5 in free crypto. And then if you want a crypto exclusive exchange, you've got your choice. You've got KuCoin down in the description, and they reward the more active trader. You can buy and sell Terra Luna Classic on there all day long if you want. And then you've got Binance, International Binance as well. Binance announcing today that they will be burning trading fees on Terra Luna Classic. <clears throat> so make sure to use that if you want to burn your trading fees and have Binance uh, add to the burns we've got going on out there. Now let's talk about that briefly. <clears throat> so this morning, Binance announced that they will be burning their trading fees on all Terra Luna Classic transactions and, and that includes the BUSD, the BNB, Terra Luna Classic, the uh, Terra Luna Classic, USDT, and so on. Now, a lot of people bought in simply based on this announcement. And th this is going to go into the reasoning as to why I think these levels could be sustainable or why they may not be sustainable. So it was a very, very quick rush from roughly 17,000 points per coin up to 30,000 points per coin on Terra Luna Classic. Now, anytime you see a gain that happens this quickly, the bears are going to tell you that it must revert back down. It must fall back down in price. And that's the same rationale they've had with Shiba Inu coin for well over a year now, saying that it can't run up 46 million percent and sustain those levels, yet here we are, sustaining those levels in Shiba Inu coin. In Terra Luna Classic, typically the same deal. If... If it runs up, if it doubles, quadruples, quintuples in price in a very short period of time, you're not going to be able to sustain those gains. However, if it runs up for a specific reason, then you absolutely can. <clears throat> so let's look at that. We know that Binance made that announcement this morning, and the price of Terra Luna Classic is rising higher because people know and anticipate the burns are going to increase. However, if they did not read the fine print, this is what could lead to some confusion, and this is what could lead to a fall back down in price. What people may be anticipating, and this is, uh, this is a slight speculation here, what people may be anticipating is that Binance initiated the 1.2% burn tax. That is not what we are seeing today. Binance is burning trading fees, <clears throat> and the trading fees are roughly 0.1%. They begin at 0.1% and they are reduced for several different reasons. You can be a very active trader, reaching different VIP levels. You can have different deposit levels, giving you higher status. You can, you can have coupons to lessen your trading fees. You can, there's all sorts of ways to lessen your trading fees. <clears throat> so at best, we are going to be recording or we are going to be burning 0.1% of the transactions on the Binance platform. Now, you might be wondering, well, that's like, that's what, 12 times lower than what people are expecting? Of course, when they realize that's what's going on out there, the price is going to fall back down. <clears throat> now, if, if people were kind of naive in their expectations and they thought that Binance was implementing the burn, you would be right. I would expect the pullback in price, maybe not all the way down to where we just were, the 17,000, 18,000 point per coin level. But nonetheless, if, if you're rising on news, the news has to be correct in order to sustain those levels. <clears throat> if people were rising simply because they know that the burns are going to increase, 
the burns are going to increase. Binance burning their trading fees is a huge win for Terra Luna Classic burns, and, and it's not the win we were hoping for. It's not the 1.2% burn tax, but it is an absolute step in the right direction. Guys, if you want to talk numbers really quick, if you want to go through some of the hypotheticals, simply based on the last 24 hours volume, Terra Luna Classic versus, I believe it was uh, Tether, has done roughly $275 million worth of volume on the Binance platform alone. That would, requ that would equate to roughly, I think it's like 900 million Terra Luna Classic that would be burnt in the last 24 hours alone. Now, that's assuming the 0.1% the trading fee that nobody is, is trading on reduced fees because of, of their holdings and VIP status and so on. So kind of use that number as a gauge is, is optimal based on that volume. If they're burning based on, I believe, BNB or BUSD versus Terra Luna Classic, you're talking roughly $700 million dollars in 24 hour volume on the Binance platform. That would bring you up to roughly 3 billion Terra Luna Classic that would be burnt in a 24 hour period simply based on those trading fees. Now guys, it is going to be on that spectrum somewhere. We do, and there's no way to know how many traders are trading with VIP status, how much of that volume is attributed to VIP status, and so on. So you can't accurately gauge how much Terra Luna Classic is going to be burnt, but you can kind of use those two numbers as a figure and as a reference to know that Binance burning these fees is going to be an absolute step in the right direction. It is going to reduce the supply of Terra Luna Classic that's outstanding. And, and I do believe it's only going to get better if we add KuCoin to the mix, if we add Kraken to the mix, if we add all of these major exchanges to the mix. And then it's just the first stepping stone to getting that 1.2% burn tax implemented on all of the major ch exchanges. Guys, I want to know what you think. Down in the comments below, this is this is going to be fun here because I think the prices will sustain themselves if people know what they're buying into. Um, I want to know what you guys think the very first Binance burn is going to be. So they're going to announce that burn, I believe it's Tuesday. It's I know it's October 3rd. I think that's a Tuesday. I'm not 100% sure now. I think it's Tuesday, October 3rd. I know it's October 3rd for sure. But they're going to announce how much they've burned over the previous week. I want to know in the comments below how much you think that burn is going to be in terms of Terra Luna Classic. Now, of course, if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And you got Claybro883 everywhere. You're getting 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble. KuCoin and Binance, you got links in the description below for both of those. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.